Hi everyone. In this video, we will beat understanding spring annotations such as configuration, bean, pre destroy and post construct, component scan, component, property source, service, repository, auto wired, and qualifier annotations. Without further ado, let's get started. Namaste. Welcome to Bit Science. Unlock the secrets of life and technology with our comprehensive biology and Cambridge Science Education. What are spring annotation? Spring annotation are special annotation that are used to annotate classes, methods and fields. These annotation are then processed by the spring container to configure beings and manage their life cycles. So how does spring annotation work? One way to visualize how spring annotation work is to think of them as instruction for the spring container. When the spring container starts up, it scan this class path for classes that are annotated with spring annotations. The spring container then creates beans for these classes and manages their life cycle according to the instruction in the annotation. Let's see some of the most commonly used spring annotations. Configuration annotation is used to indicate that a class declares one or more beans methods. So what it means that this is a whole project, right? Where is the metadata of this project? It is actually in the Pong. This is the metadata of each. So these are the metadata. What is your project structure? This com.xml. This is the com.xml. Is it is under the artifact demo. Okay. This is how your metadata. So similarly, we for each class, whatever you are going to create, right? So you can add annotation. So this is the first annotation you are getting, which is Spring Boot application. If you write this Spring Boot application on the main, it has to be on the main. Then what will happen? It will execute. It will automatically execute. And you, whenever I am running on this application, right? Right click on this and so what is happening? You will get the Spring running on your terminal. So this Spring annotation has it meanings. This spring annotation is a combination of configuration, enable auto configuration and component scan. What are these three things? If you write just this three thing, you don't need to write this whole, this three thing is separate. In the other way we can do is, we can write configuration like this one. We can also write, instead of writing this configuration, enable auto configuration and we can have to write component scan component scan okay instead of writing this one line of statement you might have to write this three statement to tell that to run this application okay this will also work If I want to run this application, this will work. The same way it is running. So instead of writing this, you just need to write one annotation. That is the whole idea. Okay. So what are these three annotations? Configuration, enable auto configuration, component scan. These three annotation are you can see in the you know screen. Component scan annotation used to configure component scanning directive for use with configuration classes. This means that you telling the spring that please scan this package means when we write component scan, we have to also say the what is your base package, which is com dot example. You have to tell this. If you don't tell, then by default, wherever this package, it is actually under this com dot XML demo that this will treat as this is the main main component scan means other than outside of this. If you feel right, if class which is not present under this package, then that will not treat as a it's not scan everything. It will not scan any spring specification. Okay. So for now, just understand can your package this is used. So under configuration, you write beans. Bean annotation is used to indicate that a method produces a bean to be managed by the spring container. What it means that under configuration, uh, so under this you write beans this is how we write beans one one beans so beans are methods or function so you write some method 
some method. This is one B. Okay. So you can either write under Spring up application that is also fine, or you can say configuration and uh, write under this. Okay. Both are fine. So this configuration helps you to write all the beans. So all beans will be under configuration. Then we have pre-destroy and post-construct annotation. These annotations are used to indicate method that should be called before and after a bean is destroyed or created respectively. Means what happens? There is a cycle in spring. There is this life cycle of spring where before uh, creating the bean and after creating means this bean is being created. This hole has to be created before uh, this reach to this post construct and pre-destroy. So before destroying something happens. We also can use this init method uh, writing a bean like like this init method. So instead of writing this you have to just use pre this two annotation. The next is component annotation is used to indicate that an annotated class is a component. Such classes are considered as candidate for auto detection when using annotation based configuration and class path scanning. To create a spring controllers class, we need to create a Java class and annotate it with component annotation. The component annotation tells the spring container to scan the class path for classes that are annotated with this annotation and create beams for them. This read message method will be called when the controller receive an HTTP request. This method should return a string that will be response to the request. In this example, the read message method simply returns the string spring application is running. In this step, we will be adding get mapping annotation to the read message method. This annotation tells the spring container that this method should be called when a get request is made to specific path. In our case, the path is slash read message so when a user makes a get request to this url of our application the read message method will be called the next is service annotation is used to indicate that annotated class is a service this annotation serves as a specialized of component annotation allowing for implementing classes to be auto detected through class path scanning let's see this example I'm creating a product order service class. Inside this, we are injecting a products repository bean with into product service class using the auto wire annotation. So what is auto wire annotation? Auto wire annotation used for automatic injection of beans. Spring qualify annotation used in conjunction with auto wire to avoid confusion when we have two or more bean configured for the same time. At the end, we'll annotate it with at the rate service annotation. The service annotation tells the spring container to scan the class path for the classes that are annotated with this annotation and create beans for them. The next is repository annotation used to indicate that an annotated class is a repository. This annotation servers specialized of component annotation and advisable to use the DAO classes. Repository are responsible for storing and retrieving data from database. When you extend the CRUD repository interface, you are inheriting a set of methods that allow you to perform CRUD create, read, update, delete operation on the data in the database. For example, if you have a product repository class that extends the CRUD interface like here, you will have methods like save find by id, find all and delete methods. The repository annotation is not required, but it is a good practice to use it. Mark your repository classes. This will help the Spring Kernel to understand that these classes are repository and should be treated accordingly. The next is the property annotation is a Spring annotation that is used to load properties from a file or a source. The properties can be used to configure the Spring application. For example, the following annotation loads property from a file named application dot property in the class path. At the rate property source within the bracket class path colon application dot properties. The property source annotation can be used to load properties for multiple files or resource. To this you can specify multiple value attributes. For example, the following annotation loads property from two file 
application dot property and database property. We will write like this property source within packet. We will use curly braces. Within that, we'll use two property. One is class path application property, and this class path database properties. I hope I'm able to make this understand. In this video, we have learned about Spring annotations. Spring annotation are powerful way to configure Spring beans and manage their lifecycle. If you are interested in learning more about Spring annotation, I recommend checking out more about these videos. I hope you find this video informative and that you learn something new. And if you have any question, please feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you for watching. I am Ati Vinod, and this has been Bit Science. I will see you in the next video.